Now that you've seen the particle conversion factors and the gram conversion factors, let's start to put everything that we've learned together. So these problems that we're going to do are all just factor label problems. And you've done factor label problems before, it's just new conversion factors that you haven't seen. So if you were given a problem that sounded something like this, a balloon holds 2.59 moles worth of helium. Well, that sounds like a given to me. That's the only number it gives me in the problem. And we want to figure out how many atoms there are in the balloon. We need a moles atoms conversion factor. If you look on the first page where we have that in the box of what's my conversion factors that I need to know. One mole is the same thing as 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Well, an atom's a particle, right? So I can use that as my conversion factor. And then it's like any other factor label problem you've ever done. Take your given, put it over the number one. Then we want those moles to cancel out and go away. So I use my conversion factor and put the one mole part on the bottom. The 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms goes on the top. My moles and moles would cancel out. I'd just be left with atoms. So that's how I know I'm done with the problem because I hit the right unit. I was trying to get to atoms and I'm there. When you throw this guy into your calculator, it will say 1.559 times 10 to the 24th. We have to sig fig round that. So the number 2.59 has three sig figs. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd also has three sig figs. 6.02 is not a perfect number. Um, quite frankly, if you look on the internet for what Avogadro's number is, it goes on way past 6.02. Uh, we're just going to approximate it to that. So if we get to keep three sig figs, I'm going to keep this one, this one, this one. That would round to 1.56 times 10 to the 24th atoms. How about that next one? If we have 3.18 moles worth of hydrogen and it wants to know what the volume in liters would be, we need a moles liters link. Well, if you look back on that first page, the moles liters link was one mole is the same thing as 22.4 liters. The disclaimer on that 22.4 was it has to be gaseous liters, which it is, hydrogen, gas, and the gas has to be at STP conditions. It says up at the top here, you can assume that all gases are under STP conditions, so no tricks. I'll let you use that 22.4. We take our given, put it over the number one, I need my moles to cancel out and go away. So they go on the bottom. The 22.4 goes on the top. My moles and moles cancel out. I'm left with just liters. So that's how I know I'm done because that's what I was looking for. When I throw that in my calculator, you would get 71.232, but I only get to keep three sig figs because my 3.18 has three sig figs. The 22.4, also not a perfect number, three sig figs. So that guy would round to 71.2 liters. This third one is a little bit trickier because it wants to know the mass of 8.25 moles worth of nitrogen. We measure masses in grams. So we need a moles grams conversion factor. Well, when you're doing moles to some kind of particle, atoms, molecules, formula units, the number that you use for your conversion factor is always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. When you're trying to get from moles to liters, as long as you're talking about a gas at STP, the conversion factor is always 
22.4. But when you're talking about masses, the conversion factor varies depending on what chemical you're talking about, right? If we go back to that previous page, if I needed a conversion factor for the molar mass of magnesium nitrate, we would use 148.3. But if I needed a, a conversion factor for the molar mass of calcium phosphate, we would use 310.3. So anytime you have a problem where you're either starting with grams or ending with grams, we have to do a little bit of extra work. We have to figure out our conversion factor first and then use it. So if we had N2, that means two moles worth of N. I don't know how much two moles worth of N weighs, but I do know that one moles worth of N from the periodic table is 14.007, or we could say just 14.0. So if you have N2, not just N, the mass of N2, the molar mass, would be 28 grams. That's how much one mole's worth of N2 weighs. Well, that right there is a conversion factor that's going to link our grams and moles together. So I could take my given, put it over the number 1, I need my moles to cancel out and go away. And then I know that if I had a mole's worth of nitrogen, it would weigh 28 grams. 8.25 has three sig figs. 28.0 has three sig figs. So my answer can only have three sig figs, 231 grams.